despite the occupant of the White House attempts to marginalize us and to silence us, please know that we are more than four people. We ran on a mandate to advocate for and to represent those ignored, left out, and left behind. Our squad is big. Our squad includes any person committed to building a more equitable and just world. And that is the work that we want to get back to. I encourage the American people and all of us in this room and beyond to not take the bait. This is a disruptive distraction from the issues of care, concern, and consequence to the American people. Sadly, this is not the first, nor will it be the last time we hear disgusting, bigoted language from the president. We know this is who he is, and we know that he and his administration are constantly engaged in actions that harm residents and American people in our country. Many members of Congress have called for his impeachment because of his utter disregard and disrespect of the United States Constitution. And despite this and other many attempts to distract us, I remain focused. We remain focused on holding him accountable to the laws of this land and accountable to the American people. I heard, urge House leadership, many of my colleagues, to take action to impeach this lawless president today. This is a president who has equated neo-Nazis with those who protest against them in Charlottesville. This is a president who has openly violated the very value our country aspires to uphold. Equality under the law, religious liberty, equal protection, and protection from persecution. And to distract from that, he's launching a blatantly racist attack on four duly elected members of the United States of House of Representatives, all of whom are women of color. This is the agenda of white nationalists. Every single person who's brown and black at some point in their life in this country heard that. I will not dignify it with an answer because I know that every single Islamophobe Every single person who is hateful, who is uh, driven um, by an ideology of othering, as this president is, uh, rejoices in us responding to that and us defending ourselves. I do not expect every time there is a white supremacist who attacks or there is a, uh, a white man who kills in, uh, in a school or in a movie theater or um, in, uh, in a mosque or in a synagogue, I don't expect my white community members to respond on whether they love that person or not. And so I think it is beyond time, it's beyond time to ask Muslims to condemn terrorists. We are no longer going to allow uh, the dignification of such ridiculous, ridiculous statement. This president does not know how to make the argument that Americans do not deserve health care. He does not know how to defend his policies, so what he does is attack us personally. And that is what this is all about. He can't look a child in the face, and he can't look all Americans in the face and justify why this country is throwing them in cages. So instead, he tells us that I should go back to the great borough of the Bronx and make it better.